to my channel. A long time no see on this channel. If you've been following me on my social medias or you've been subscribed to my vlog channel, then you would know my sister and I were in New York this past week. We had so much fun and we vlogged the whole time. So if you want to watch those vlogs, I'll put a link down below. We are doing Vlogmas, so make sure you check it out. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this makeup look. It's perfect for Christmas and super festive. We got some gold glitter liner and some red lips. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. I also wanted to quickly mention that this video is sponsored by Audible. I've mentioned Audible in a lot of my videos in the past. So what Audible is, it's essentially like books on recording, like books on tape. They have a ton of audiobooks ranging from all different types of genres. So if you don't really have time to read, you can listen to an audiobook literally wherever you are while you're doing your makeup, cleaning your room, driving somewhere. You're essentially reading without having to read. And this is a great tool to have if you're in school and you get an assigned reading book. You can just listen to the book instead of having to read it and it will save you so much more time. What's really cool is that you can go to audible.com slash nazanine and download one free audiobook regardless if you decide to cancel the service or not. So you can download your free book, try it out for a month and let's say you don't like it, you can always just cancel the service and you can still keep your free audiobook which is amazing. The book that I'm currently listening to is Seriously I'm Kidding by Ellen DeGeneres. I'm a huge fan of Ellen and she is so incredibly funny. So again audible.com slash nazanine for your one free book download and without further ado let's just get into the makeup tutorial. So starting off, I am priming my face. I'm using my Too Faced Hangover Primer and my favorite foundation, which is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I'm usually in the shade Barcelona, but since I don't have any fake tan on and I'm at my natural color, I'm using the shade Santa Fe, which is much lighter. And I'm first applying that with my It Cosmetics Number no. 7 brush, and Makeup by Mario actually uses to apply foundation. And I actually had it, so I was like, why not try it out? So I'm just using that to apply my foundation, and then I just went over it with my Beauty Blender. Then I'm taking a smaller brush to get foundation around my eyebrows. Next up, I'm taping my eyelids and then also setting the foundation on my eyelids with some translucent powder. And I'm keeping the eyes, the main focus is going to be the liner. So just take your favorite transition shade and just apply it in your crease just so you have something in there. And I'm going in with my Inglot Gel Liner, but... I would love to have used my NYC liquid liner, but I lost it like right before this video. But I end up finding it like halfway through the video. But that's why I taped my eyes because I'm not that comfortable with gel liner yet. So I just tried it out with a gel liner. It wasn't really working out. So I went upstairs and grabbed my sister's eyeliner. It's not the NYC one. It was like Sephora or whatever. So the glitter liner I'm using here is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liquid Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. And then, so I'm first using that and then I'm going back in with a gold loose pigment and just dipping the same exact brush in there and just going back on top of it to give me a very um, precise line. I mean the glitter liner didn't have enough glitter for me. I needed to be extra because y'all know how I am. So yeah, that's all you have to do for the glitter liner. It is tedious. It does take a while. It took about 20 minutes just to do the glitter part, but it's so worth it because it looks so good. So then I'm going in with some mascara. This is the Benefit They're Real just to prep for some falsies. The falsies I'm using today are the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes, and look, this is where I found my NYC liquid liner. I was so mad, <laughs> but I just applied my falsies with some Duo Lash Adhesive. So I'm going with concealer. This is my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. It is pretty light, so it took a lot of blending to get it to blend into my skin, but I'm just highlighting um, underneath my eyes, my nose, my chin. Now I'm just setting it with some translucent powder. And I need to wash my Beauty Blender ASAP, like that is so disgusting. But yeah, just setting all that liquid. And then I'm taking my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder in the shade Sandalwood. And I'm just setting the rest of my face as well as dusting away all the translucent powder. So to bronze up my face and contour, I'm using my Bobbi Brown Bronzer in the shade 02 Natural, I believe. And I'm using my Real Techniques um, number 100 brush. And I am just bronzing up my face. So first I'm using this big like fluffy brush to bronze my skin. And then I'm going in with my NARS Ida brush. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Ida or Ida. It's I-T-A. And as you can see, it's very flat and more dense. So I'm keeping that closer to my ear so I can really create a um, strong contour as opposed to just like bronzing my skin. So then I'm taking some translucent powder on a makeup wedge and I am just cleaning up the bronzer so I have a more um, precise line. 
Then taking my Sedona Lace FB05 brush, I am dusting away all the translucent powder. So now I'm just going to be contouring my nose with the exact same bronzing powder. And I'm using my e.l.f. contour brush. It's literally a dollar from the drugstore. And it will give you a great nose contour. And I'm also going underneath to kind of shorten my nose a bit. And yeah, then my dog is like choking. Are you good, Pepsi? Oh my gosh, do you guys hear that? But anyways, for blush, I am using a Sigma blush. And there's no name on it. It's just a cheeky blush. And I went upstairs and quickly put on... I changed my shirt before I applied my lipstick and everything, you know, because I'm doing a red lip. So I'm just wearing a white turtleneck from Forever 21. But anyways, for highlighter, I just wetted my face with some Max Fix Plus. And I'm using Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. Um, I didn't use Champagne Pop today because that one has a more golden undertone. And since I'm paler, I like to use one with a more pearly like undertone. So now I'm just taking more of my contour not my contour color I use the NYC bronzer and sunny for my crease so I'm taking more of that on a smudger brush and I just smudge it on my lower lash line then I went in with some white eyeliner and I'm just applying mascara to my bottom lashes I'm taking the same liquid glitter as well as um, loose glitter in my inner corner just to highlight my inner tear ducts and also just to pull in the whole look together for my red lips, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Acrylip in the shade 400 and the Aqua Lips Lip Liner in the shade 4C. And I got this in a PR package from Makeup Forever, so shout out to Makeup Forever. Thank you so much for the generous PR package. I love all the colors. So I am just taking, I'm just taking the lip liner and lining my lips as well as filling it in. And then I'm going back in with the red um, acrylic. It's kind of like a different consistency. It's not a liquid lipstick. It's literally like a paint for your lips. It's amazing. Super pigmented and I love the packaging. I did go back in with some concealer and cleaned up around the lips. So there's the completed makeup look. Let me know what you guys think down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed and be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did. And let me know if you like my new lens down below. I'm using my new Sigma lens. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much and see you next time. Bye loves.